Over the past decade, there's been really a revolution in our understanding and treatment of ovarian cancer. You know, prior to 2005, uh, essentially all ovarian cancers, certainly epithelial ovarian cancers, were treated the same. Um, but beginning in about 2005, we began to understand much more about the molecular biology of the disease, and there were also refinements in the pathologic diagnostic criteria, as well as clinical studies that were beginning to emerge uh, that really gave us uh, hypothesis generating information about these rare types. We're in the very early stages of uh, understanding this and uh, developing new therapies. We do have a, a few leads. So for instance, in recurrent low-grade serous carcinoma, the MEK inhibitors have uh, been sh shown to be somewhat effective in the treatment of, of these tumors. We know that there are other genes that are involved in the pathogenesis of low-grade serous carcinoma that may be targetable. Certainly, bevacizumab has shown uh, effectiveness in that disease. In clear cell carcinoma, there are a number of aberrations that occur. Uh, and so, the, for instance, the PI3 kinase AKT mTOR pathway is abnormal in a very high percentage of uh, these tumors, and so that's a great target for uh, therapies. So I think in the past decade, we've uh, begun to develop uh, innovative clinical trials using these novel agents and also combining the, the, the therapy with very novel translational research endpoints.